a MeteoMark official 2013 hurricane season outlook forecast. Here we are. Here's the numbers you've been waiting for. I initially, back in the beginning of the winter spring season, thought that this was going to be a below normal season because of El Nino, but I am expecting a moderately above normal with 15 named storms, seven of which could become hurricanes, possibly eight, seven to eight hurricanes and three to four major hurricanes. And that means category three or higher. These numbers, I will, about halfway through the season, I will reassess those numbers and readjust as needed, but for right now, I think these are right on target. These are moderately above average, and let me show you why. A typical hurricane season, we see 12 named storms, six of which become hurricanes, and three of which become major hurricanes during an average hurricane season. So these numbers that I showed you, let me put my numbers back up here. You can see these are moderately above average. They're not insanely above average, and they're not average. So you can see that we're expecting slightly toned down version of last year's hurricane season. However, last year's hurricane season was ro pretty robust, so take that with a grain of salt. This could be another active season, especially moderately active. I don't expect to get as much of the way through the alphabet as last season, obviously, but we're expecting an above average season here at Video Mark. Here I'll explain why. Here is a plot of uh, El Nino here and what we're expecting here is the neutral line and you can see most of the models especially the major models are keeping those sea surface temperatures below the average range instead of warming those waters off the west coast of South America in the Pacific and that's what we're going to be looking at through 2014 here so we're not, I'm not expecting El Nino to be developing anytime soon and it was supposed to develop this year and it didn't so that's going to keep uh, let's take a look what El Nino does. I have uh, the, what El Nino usually is, is it's usually the warming of waters off the west coast of South America here. However, as you can see here in the blue, we're going to see cooling of waters, obviously, and that means no El Nino. What that means is lo low vertical wind shear across the Atlantic and Caribbean basin, and that is conducive to supporting tropical storm and hurricane development across much of the Caribbean, Atlantic, Cape Verdes, North Atlantic, and whatnot. So that's what we're going to be looking for as far as this hurricane season. El Nino is not a factor, and that means this could be a much more robust hurricane season than originally thought. So let's take a look at what we're looking at for sea surface temperatures average above normal most will be above normal but i am looking at a pocket here in the caribbean and parts of the bahamas and up through bermuda that could be just slightly one to two degrees below normal this season but as you can see most of the uh, warmer water in the north central gulf of mexico out through cape verts this is going to be more or less warmer than average sea surface temperatures what much warmer in the uh red zones and only moderately cooler in the cool zones. So if we do get any hurricane development here in the south, South Atlantic, uh, southern portion of the Atlantic towards South America, and they head up through this cooler water, it's not expected to be so much colder that it will destroy tropical development. I'm just saying it's going to be a little bit on the cooler side as far as averages. But that's not going to put much of a dent in this hurricane season. So let's take a look at what the most common tracks I'm expecting this hurricane season, given the patterns we've seen this year and last year, and the fact that we'll have no El Nino. We're looking at uh, a lot of tropical development here, especially around the Lesser Antilles and just east of the Lesser Antilles. A lot of tracks up through portions of uh, the Gulf of Mexico here and up through portions of uh, the East Coast here. It's the East Coast that could really see a lot of these storms form just east of Florida in the Caribbean over by Cuba and then head up 
the east coast or make landfall in the north central Gulf of Mexico and head up the spine of the Appalachians. Not good news for flooding, especially in portions of the southern and eastern states. So that's the common tracks we're looking at. The east coast will see probably above normal uh, tropical storm and hurricane landfalls and we'll be watching New England as well. So New England will have to watch and make sure I'm not expecting tremendous amounts of damage but we could have a season in which a lot of these storms move uh, are expected to move in the general direction up the east coast so that is currently what we're looking at I am going to begin uh, tropical storm and hurricane outlooks here in June so watch for those and just like last year tune in here because we this is this here is basically my specialty is tropical systems, tropical development, hurricanes, tropical storms, and tropical depressions. So that there is my specialty, and I hope you tune in during this busy, moderately busy hurricane season. That's going to do it for Meteo Mark. Hurricane Outlook 2013.